All right. So now we're going one bit, a little bit further. We are um, realizing that we have compound interest, which is more than once per year. So the only difference is we have the rate at which we grow divided by the number of times that that rate is applied, that your interest is applied, which makes sense, right? If I have 10% interest and I apply it twice a year, right? I'm only gonna apply 5% interest both times. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be 10% interest. And um, the number of times is also multiplied by the time period, because if that's a year and I do twice per year, I'm gonna apply interest twice. So you can see it's here, right? That's the total value, principal, one interest rate, number of times both here and here in T. So let's do it. Person invests 1,200. So already I have my principal. There it is, principal. All right, I know my one here. And an account that earns 2% annual interest. So I'm gonna say plus 0 0.02 right there. Compounded quarterly, that's four times a year. We're gonna divide that by four. What is the value? So we're gonna say, and then times 4T. And we can simplify this. So here, let's let's do it right here. We're gonna say, hey, one plus four. Oh, I say 0 0.02, 0 0.02 divided by four, and we get 1.005. So if I plug all this, V of T equals 1,200. 1.005 to the 4t power. And there's my equation. So we plug in 20. So let's do it. All right. I'm going to plug that in here. And um, I say, hey, 1,200. Do you believe that's what it says? Times 1.005. And raised to the 4x power. There it is. We can go to our table and plug in 20 years, and it looks like we have $1,788. So V, let's put it over here, V of 20 is roughly, maybe even exactly, $1,700. Eighty-eight dollars, and let's go ahead and be exact in forty cents. All right. Wants to know when the investment reaches. Well, it reaches that before that time. It's pretty easy to find out. We'll go here. We'll put in our fifteen hundred right here. All right. I think I got fifteen hundred there. Oh no, I got fifteen thousand. But I gotta take a zero off, don't I? Here we go. Fifteen. Let's go down the end. We'll delete that zero, and we'll graph that. And, well, maybe I should change my window. It's really small in there. So we're gonna change our window. Oh, I could probably get it on here, but let's change it anyway. Let's make our Y max like, I don't know, 2000. All right, yeah, there we go. So we'll graph it now. There it is, let's see when we touch. Pretty early. I go second calc, second calc. Five to intersect, we'll move back where it intersects and find out how many years. What are we done with this first one? These aren't too bad, are they? Second curve, so it looks like about 11.2 years. All right, well, definitely shorter than 20 years. So approximately 11.2 years. Well, let's hit this next one. All right. So we've got this, we've got a person that invests, that's the first part, 600, and earns so one plus six point, oh, oh, zero point zero six two five, all right, and compounded semi-annually, so twice a year, and 2t. So, we'll go ahead and do that math right there. I'm gonna point zero six two five. 0 0.0625 divided by 2, 0 0.03, 0 03125, so let's write it again, 600, 1.03125 to the 2t. There's the equation I'm going to use, 
We want to find out when V of T doubles. Well, double 6,000 is 12,000. So here we go. I'm going to set them both up. Plug them in here. So let's start with 12,000 right here. Looks like 12,000. And this one's going to be 6,000. Let's clear it off. All right. 6,000 times 1.03125 raised to the 2x power. And let's graph it and see if we can get it right. Oh, we won't get it because my window is too small right now. So we're going to bring the window up to um, maybe 12,000. Or let's go 15,000. We'll go a little bit beyond so we can see it happening. And we'll see what happens. So there it is. There's our investment. There's where they meet. Second calc. Kind of nice and easy way to do this. It lets me second calc. There we go. Intersect. Moving over. I'm going to hit enter three times. Well, I'll move a little bit to the right. Enter, enter, enter. And approximately 11.26 years. So, approximately 11.26. Now, we could argue this amount right here because it only. It's only semi-annual, so there's a chance we have to round this up to 11.5. I really haven't seen how the, because that would be semi-annual, right? Half a year. I haven't seen what the book does with this. And assuming that this is, what, quarterly, that would be 11.25, right? So we could say approximately 11.25 for quarterly years. I didn't really give that much thought when we were doing this. All right, we got one more. Jack. Hey, I got a kid named Jack in my second period class. Here we go. So, Jack invests $8,000 in an account that earns, ooh, compounded daily. Oh, I like this already. So here we go. We go, V of T equals 8,000. One plus .065 divided by 365 days in a year, 365 times X. Wow. Jill, let's go G of T, Jill of T. Put it over here. Invested 9,000 in an account that does 5.9 monthly. So 9,000 and 1 plus 0 0.059 divided by 12, right? Monthly, so 12x. Find whether they meet each other. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to do the division here. We're just going to put it in as is. I'm going to go this. So delete that. Let's do jacks. Jack was 8,000. We're going to put parentheses here. We're going to 1 plus. We're going to do another parentheses and say 0 0.065 divided by 365 and end both parentheses. And then we're going to raise that to the 365 x power. Come down here and delete this one and try Jill, who was 9,000. She, she started with more money. I'm going to say 1 plus, add another parenthesis, 0.059 divided by 12, end both parentheses, and raise that to the 12x power. So not only does he earn more money, but he compounds more often. He should definitely catch up. Let's graph it and find out when. Oh, maybe my scale isn't high enough to find out when. Sure doesn't look like it. All right. Oh no, there, maybe, close. Let's go higher, we need to move up some. So let's go up and we'll say window. I don't need to go to 60 on that X. Let's bring it back to like 20, because I think we're gonna meet before there. And let's come down here, let's go up to 25,000. And hopefully that's enough for us to do it, so let's check it out. There's either Jack or Jill's, I think I did Jack first. All right, here comes Jill right now. Hopefully they'll touch. Looks like they're getting closer. Looks like they're getting closer. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But I'm going to give it a shot and say we did. So we're going to go second, calc, intersect. And it looks to me like they are touching right out at the tip of this. I could be wrong, but we're going to give it a shot. It might sense it anyway. So out there, one, two, three. So at 19.18 years. So I'm going to say both things. So 
19.18 years. And it looks like they met at 20. 7,800 and we'll say $40 approximately. And there it is. All right. And that's your next page. Talk to you guys soon.